ね。Okay, we lit it just like a fuse, so no need to pick and choose. Welcome to 2020, where we do more than interviews. The hottest beat coming through, dropping knowledge on all that you get. A beat at the front of you with the truth that they offer you. Yeah, hands up, we doing it for the culture to give artists and businesses more exposure. Keep it real and stay solid, just like a boulder. It's about to go all the way down, can't get no lower. Chasing my dreams, know that they get no slower. But if I stay running, I promise they getting closer. More over success, my older. And if you're sleeping on me, I'm waking them up like soldiers. I told you, coming from the land with the tide roll, where we'll be on a whole different. We like to ride slow and keep a window tinted so you really can see us. Like Stevie Wonder waking up with his eyes closed. Yeah, got the kind of flow that rocked the boat. On my sixteens, a pound of dope. And if you figure you can hang with me on the mic, then grab some rope. Matter of fact, better grab some hope. While you at it, we keep it live. It's time to tune in. Turn up the sound on what you're using. It goes so hard, I think it's bruising. This show is 2020, no need to zoom in. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, sir, of the 2020 Podcast LLC. Please say the LLC. And I have a special guest today, Poetess Waterfall Adams. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. And you? I'm I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Now, before we even get started, I want to thank you for reaching out and us being able to collaborate and get this interview going. I, I'm always excited to hear from poets and artists from our area. It really Warms me up, so thank you again. Thank you for having me.、Uh, no problem, no problem. So, Miss Adams, being a poet, being an artist, everything、uh, has a beginning. So, how long have you been into writing, being a poet? Well, I've been doing it probably around since high school, and also when I was at University of South Alabama. There was a campus event called Arts Inspired Road to Creation, and it, there was a point there called Art Is that made it on the、um, program. It was like the f- first annual um, arts um, event they did.、Mm-hmm. It's, in fact, it's featured in my first book, The Eclectic Mind of V. Okay, okay, all right. So, writer, poet. What other、uh, ventures have you delved into since you know U.S. your days in U.S.A.? Well, I am a blogger. I self-published two poetry books. I write some articles.、Okay. I do have a YouTube channel. There's more I want to do on there. I just need to raise some funds for some things to give it that push. Right, right, right. No, I completely、things. understand. You know, yeah, I do want to. I do want to act professionally. I love to sing and、um, dance and model. Just need to work on the weight for my health, you know, and other things. Okay, I understand. I understand. So, being a content creator, like you said, you sing, dance, writing. You got books under your belt. You know, you you do poetry. What were some of the obstacles you encountered along the way of wandering in these ventures, like refining your craft? What were some of the things that You know, kind of stood in your way that you had to overcome. Well, people talk about get a real job. In fact, I wrote a poem about it. The thing is, the job market, looking, getting a job, searching for a job, is not like it was for older generations or when I was a teen. We were teenagers. Even my mom, my dad, my stepmom, my grandparents, even my sister. It was not like it was. At all. In fact, I even took a course about like the job campaign, how to look for a job, and then about four years later, like kind of after I graduated from South, it's not like what I was taught.、Mm. So I feel like what I'm doing as a creative professional, I create a job for myself. If there are plenty of entrepreneurs who had trouble finding jobs, then they created one for themselves. All right. No, definitely create your own lane. I feel like the pandemic. Showed that to a bunch of people, especially that, that you know, there's other lanes of income, there's other ways to express yourself that sometimes、mm-hmm. is good to fall back on, you know. So, true, I know people who've had a complete career change since the pandemic and haven't looked back.、Mm-hmm. You know, I salute them for being that brave. 
All right. So let me let me delve into your personal life a little bit. You know, doing many things, we obviously have to, you know, sometimes do things to pay the bills. So how do you balance your work and your personal life along with being a poet? Remember to take the time to relax, pray, sleep, have fun. Okay. And also, I do other side hustles and um, gigs, like take surveys for money. Okay. And All right. Other things, still looking for more income. All right. No, that's great. You know, like we say, side hustles are the way to go. You know, sometimes when A and B ain't working, option C. Yep, especially do do. since that became a new normal. Right. Right. You know, having a trade is is a wonderful thing to have. All right. So being a poet for this long, being right, being in writing, period, this long, has there been a moment so far that if you would classify as your most memorable moment? You know, one moment that when things get hard, you can kind of look back on and get that that push you need to keep going. Well, God and prayer, it helps oh, in therapy. It really helps a lot. <laughs> all right we do advocate for mental health over here at the uh the 2020 podcast and the safe word so i hear you there all right so i'm gonna ask one of those questions that can tend to be a little you know uh disarming i'll say so at any point in time did you feel that you wouldn't be successful in being a writer and and those other ventures that you mentioned and if so who or what changed your mind? There's never been a time for that for me. Just when I think about getting giving up, there's just like more things I can learn more about what I'm doing as a creative in general. Just um, keep up with the times of what I'm doing and make sure my skills are relevant. Okay. All right. So let's let's think future, long term. You know, you mentioned you have a couple books. Uh, you mentioned that you have a YouTube, that you're in the process of building. Where would you like to see yourself as a writer, as a brand in the next one year, three years, and then 10 years? In general, in all those years, more financially independent with what I am doing. Hopefully lose more weight, get my own place, and more other things I can do. Like travel. Okay, okay. Where are some of the places you would like to see yourself, uh, I guess, perform or like see some of your works uh, displayed? Oh, I forgot to mention, I do pl am working on more books. I just need to do like the research for some. I would like to go to Atlanta, California, New York, Miami, different countries in Europe and Africa, many mm -hmm. countries. That's awesome. Okay. So let's discuss some of your work. You know, usually when we, we have an artist on the show, there are some types of works that we could listen to. Do you have a piece that we can hear of yours? That way we can kind of get a vibe of what Waterfall Adams has to offer? Yes, it's just my poetry is about different topics. In fact, on my second book, Free to Be V, here's the poem I've written for Mother's Day. Yeah, anybody could use this poem for Mother's Day. It's called Mama, Not Always Your Mama, A Time in Her Life. So here we go. You know that woman, you know her all her your life. In fact, she gave it to you in the first place. The woman who gets on your last nerves sometimes. The woman who worries about you too much, no matter how old nor tall you are. She could be long gone. You still might be scared of her. Talk and do all the tough shit you want. She's still more gangster than you are. Usually, her name starts with the letter M. Well, she's not always the woman you see today. She did not always do what her mama say. Parted hardy and sexy back in the day. She has so much fun. She probably gets to get to a cat fight or two. 
or 10. There was a time in her life where she would steal her brother's sweater for a yearbook photo, defeat him in tennis, send her husband running fast, no matter how big or and tall he is. Besides, the T must mean tougher than she looks. Thank you. Yeah, I'm over here snapping. I'm like, all right, okay, I feel that. I love that. Especially in time for Mother's Day, it's good to give a dedication to those who, you know, ultimately gave us life, you know, gave us the opportunity to become and encourage and, and foster who we are. So kudos to you for, for taking a topic like that at this time and sharing. Thank that. you. That was dope. That was dope. So Waterfall Adams, uh, if anybody wanted to like follow you or uh, locate you on social media, where would they find you under which handles? I will be on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Oh, I forgot. Pinterest, Tumblr. Oh, I forgot Reddit. Oh, you can see my books on my Amazon Author Central page. I have two blogs on Blogger. I'm on, did I mention I'm on Tumblr? Yes. Oh, and I'm on TikTok, too. All right. Okay. Oh, and LinkedIn. All right. So definitely we have a variety of outlets where you can go and support Waterfall Adams. I love it. And my final question is the one I dedicate to everybody who listens to this story and says, you know what? She inspired me. The hardest thing to do in the world is to take your idea and run with it. There are plenty of naysayers, plenty of doubt sometimes or just plain up fear what are some encouraging words you would have for that person who has an idea but they are afraid to pursue it try try your best hey better you tried than not do it at all that's real that's real waterfall adams thank you so much for doing this interview with me i i love it thank I you very much it. of course i love to support you know fellow artists and poets here in mobile uh do you have anything you. coming up soon where we can come see you or any other ways we can support you or purchase one of your lovely books well my books are available on amazon and ebook and paperback format and my book free to bv might be available on either like Books a million or um, the, oh yeah, Barnes and Noble, and I'm trying to get it out both books on other outlets, even put an audiobook for him. Mm, okay, all right. Well, I look forward to it. I'm definitely going to do what I can to support, definitely to share, you know, support with creatives because I just love to see us bloom and flourish and go to that next level. So hopefully, the next time we speak in a year or so. You'll be able to say, hey, I've done, you know, twice as much as I've done last year. You know, I got this YouTube yeah. going. I got a thousand followers. You know, mm -hmm. we'll be able to check in and, and keep up with each other. In fact, I've been having my YouTube channel since YouTube started. I just never know you can get paid on YouTube, but just trying yes. to push things a little more if you catch my drift. Yes, ma'am. All right. And with that, I've been your boy, sir, Waterfall Adams, and uh, we are out. Peace.